Hey guys, it's Turnro here, and today I'll be doing a short video on how to queue triggers in the Warcraft 3 World Editor. Uh, over the years, I've been asked a series of questions on how to do things in the World Editor by other people, particularly with triggers. And what I've found is that it's generally hard to try to answer them because when they ask me, it's done through email, and so I reply to them with a simple message, but they have no idea what I'm talking about. And so the purpose of this video, as well as potential future videos as well, is to visually show how to do the different areas in regards to questions people ask me from time to time. And so what I have open here is one of the maps I've made a long time ago from Resurrection of the Scourge. And this is the perfect example on how to do trigger queuing, which what we have here is we have a couple of regions called Region 1 and Region 2. And we have a couple of triggers where if the player has one of their units enter these regions, uh, different events will occur. So for this trigger here, Demon Fight First, when the player has one of their units enter this region, there will be a short fight scene as well as some dialogue playing, as seen right here. And then we also have another trigger called Demon Fight Second, where if the player enters region 2, then there will also be another fight scene right here, along with additional dialogue that plays as well. Now, it is possible for the player to enter both of these regions relatively near the same time. And so what will happen is that you will have the dialogue from this trigger playing, and then you also have the dialogue from the other trigger playing as well. And so you have a clash of the in-game dialogues different characters have which will be confusing on the player's behalf. And so what we want to achieve is that depending on which region the player enters first, the dialogue for that particular trigger will run, and then the dialogue for the other trigger will run shortly afterwards, which is what trigger queuing is. Sort of like if you went to the movies and you want to buy a ticket, if there's a queue of people waiting in line, you would simply go to the back of the line and wait to buy your ticket. So not everyone can buy the ticket at the one time, which is this general idea we're trying to achieve here with the trigger queuing. So first things first, what we want to do is we want to create a new trigger and we call it Q1, just for simplicity's sake. And what we want to do is we want to cut or simply get the dialogue part of this trigger. We cut it and we put it into Q1. Next, we go back to our original trigger. And at the very bottom, we go action, trigger, add, Q1 to the trigger queue. And so now what will happen is that when the player enters this region here, the battle scene will occur as usual, but the dialogues part will be queued in the trigger queue. And if there's no triggers already in the queue, then this will run automatically. Another thing we need to do is we need to tell the game where a trigger is running in the trigger queue, when it will end. And so at the very bottom of this trigger, we go action, trigger, remove this trigger from the trigger queue. If we don't do this, then other triggers that are waiting in the trigger queue won't run. 
And now we can also do the same for this trigger as well. So again, we go create new trigger, we go Q2, we go to the original trigger and we cut or simply take the dialogue part and paste it in this new trigger. At the very bottom of the original trigger, we go actions, trigger, add, Q2 to the trigger queue. And then going to our new trigger at the very bottom, we go action, trigger, remove this trigger from the trigger queue. So now what we've accomplished is simply if the player enters these regions around the same time, the dialogues for those particular events will run one after the other. So there's no clash. And that simply will do for this video for now. I hope you find this useful. If you have any questions on certain things you'd like me to show you in the Warcraft 3 World Editor, feel free to do so in the comments below. Um, otherwise, I'll catch you guys later and I'll see you guys next time.